welcome back to another top 10 video here upon the old YouTube channel. So the year of 2024 is halfway over, so I thought it would be a very good time to do a video where I count down my top 10 favorite songs of the year thus far. So far within this first six months of this year, there have been some awesome releases, amazing albums, great EPs, great singles, very, very hard uh, list to tackle and lots and lots of good stuff to choose from. But I'm pretty happy with my list and this is going to be in a particular order from my number 10 to my number 1. And only one song per artist is eligible for this list. But before we get started, you all be sure to let me know down in the comments below your top 10 favorite songs that have come out this year so far. Of course, my list isn't the right list, just my personal opinion. And I would love to see all of y'all's different favorites and maybe uh, check out some stuff stuff that I have missed that have been released this year that are awesome. So with all that out of the way, let's jump straight into my number 10. So number 10 is going to be a song from a country artist that actually just released a brand new album a few weeks ago on June 14th, I believe. But before the album came out, he put out a single that is not on the album. It's going to be in an upcoming movie later this summer called Twisters. It is on the soundtrack. And the song I'm talking about is Ain't No Love in Oklahoma by Luke Holmes. So far, there have been some pretty awesome uh, songs that are going to be on this soundtrack, but this one is definitely my favorite, and possibly my favorite ooh, Luke Combs song. Really, really great stuff. The thing that struck to me about this song first was definitely his vocal performance, definitely a very, very good vocal performance, and the main guitar riff in the song is also really excellent, just really great instrumentation throughout. And like I said, lots of great songs that are going to be on the soundtrack, but this one, easily my favorite of the bunch that have been released so far. And there's been like five of them that have come out, I think. But Ain't No Love in Oklahoma by Luke Combs, that is going to be my number 10. So coming in at number 9 actually comes off my favorite album of the year so far, which is Be Right Here by Blackberry Smoke. Really great uh, modern southern rock band that has lots of good albums, but this one is definitely one of my favorites. And the song I chose off that album is a little bit crazy. I really love uh, this album and band in particular because it just has a very classic rock sound. Of course, since they are a summer rock band, there'll be lots of elements of some bands that I really love, like Leonard Skinner and ZZ Top and stuff like that. And a little bit crazy definitely reminds me of some more obscure stuff like Humble Pie from the 70s that I really like. It's just an awesome, very, very catchy song. The chorus will definitely get stuck in your head for sure. Great vocal performance, great instrumentation, just overall a very, very well-written song. And they'll become tough competition since there are so many other amazing songs that came off of this album. So, a Little Bit Crazy by Blackberry Smoke, that is going to come in as my number 9. So, for number 8 is an artist that I like more and more each single he puts out because he has a very good mix of country, but he can also do heavy metal and hard rock and all different types of genres. I'm talking about Hardy, and the song I chose is Psycho. He has a new album coming out in July, of course, hadn't come out yet, but he's released multiple singles for this album, and Psycho is definitely my favorite of the bunch. There's been, uh, there's been other great ones like Jim Bob and Six Feet Under, but Psycho is definitely my favorite. Really like the melodies and the vocal performances, very catchy song, and love the guitar work on here. I just like this guy more and more as time goes on. Because I knew him, or I got into him with uh, a lot of his country songs. You know, he's done songs with Laney Wilson and Morgan Wallen, and some even solo uh, country songs. But he's starting to dabble into more and more rock stuff, which I really like quite a bit. So Psycho by Hardy, that is going to come in as my number 8. And so now for number 7, we have probably my second or third favorite album of the year. And the song I chose is Sober Fain by Cody Jinx, which comes off his album. I think it's called Change the Game. I forgot the title of the album, but there's so many different titles to remember. Can't remember all of them. But Sober Fain is an awesome, awesome song. I believe it's the opening track of the album. And the album has had some amazing, amazing songs. Cody Jinx definitely knows how to put together great albums and great songs. But Sober Fain is definitely my favorite. Really love the guitar playing on this song. And of course, his vocals are really great. Definitely one of my favorite newer country singers without a doubt just overall a very nice chilled out laid back country song the vibe to really awesome stuff so sober fame by cody jinx that is going to come in as my number seven so now for number six we have a newer artist that has only put out a few other songs and the artist is will mosley and the song is good book bad 
For those who have watched American Idol, definitely know who this guy is since he got second place for this season. I got into American Idol quite a bit the last two seasons, and I decided to check out this song whenever it came out, and I really loved it. Really, really catchy song, really, really great lyrics, and a great vocal performance from Will Mosley. Great instrumentation. I just really fell in love with this song, and of course, it has become one of my favorites of 2024 so far and definitely excited to see what he puts out next because i definitely have high hopes that it will be another awesome banner track just like good book bad which is going to be my number six before i give you all my next five picks for this video down in the description below i'll have a link to where you can go check out my top 10 playlist if you highly enjoyed this video, there will definitely be something else y'all will enjoy quite a bit in that playlist. I got top 10s for all types of stuff, songs and albums for various decades, all types of stuff. So if you enjoyed this video, I highly suggest you go check out the playlist in down in the description below. And with that out of the way, let's get into my number five. So for number five, we have another American Idol related song, and it is going to be from a guy who was on the last season before this last one in 2023. And the song is Makes Two of Us by Colin Stow. I believe he has an EP coming out, not an album coming out, but he whew, he's released a couple singles for it, and this is one of them. And Makes Two of Us is definitely my favorite out of the bunch that he's put out. He also put out Sober a few weeks after this one. Another really, really great song, but this one definitely my favorite. Really love his vocals on here. He was definitely my favorite singer uh, from the last season, and he got third place, I believe. And he's just had some amazing, amazing songs. My favorite song of 2023 was actually won by him, I Still Talk to Jesus. Really love that song. And this one is definitely another awesome banner track from him. Really great uh, stuff right here. And it is going to be my number five. So for my number four is definitely the biggest song out of this bunch without a doubt. And that is going to be I Had Some Help by Post Malone and Morgan Wallen. I've really liked, uh, I've always really liked Post Malone, but I'm not really a huge fan of rap music or hip hop, so a lot of his music has never really been my fame, but I've always liked him as a person, and of course he's always had lots of really great rock influence, and I've liked some songs by him uh, throughout the years that he's put out, like Circles, which is very guitar and classic rock based, but when he started doing more and more guitar music, and then when he started doing his transition in the country music is when I really, really started to like him a lot, lot more. Because he could definitely do multiple styles very well. But I'm a big fan of country music. And he does country music pretty well. So I'm definitely going to really, really like it. He also put out a song with Blake Shelton this year. Which was another really good song. But I had some help. Really, really awesome stuff. And on top of all that, Morgan Wallen is definitely one of my favorite newer artists without a doubt. So of course with him on the song, definitely adds to it quite a bit. And both of them do a fantastic job on the song. Great vocals, great melodies. Just one of my favorite uh you know duo songs of all time without a doubt and it is going to be my number four favorite song of 2024. so now we are at my number three and earlier this year back in january i decided i was going to check out a ton more new releases than i had in the previous year 2023 and so i've listened to a bunch of different stuff that i haven't really listened to before by artists i've never really listened to before I've always heard of Aaron Lewis, and of course I know who Stain is, really love some of their songs, but I never really checked out Aaron Lewis's solo stuff, and I heard he did country pretty well, so I decided to check out his new album, The Hill, when it first came out, and that album quickly became one of my favorites of the year, definitely top five for sure, and the song I chose from him is the song Over the Hill. Lots of really great songs off that album, like Let's Go Fishing and Made in China and Over Me, but Over the Hill, just an awesome, awesome uh, song. The album as a whole is very chilled, very laid back, very acoustic guitar based, and if you definitely like that vibe quite a bit, you'll definitely like this one, uh, or this album, and this song quite a bit. I think Aaron Lewis is a really, really great uh, vocalist, both in Stained and outside of Stained. Really like uh, this new album, and definitely I'm going to check out some of his more previous albums that I haven't listened to ever before. So, Over the Hill, awesome, awesome country song. That is going to be my number three. So now we have another artist whose album is coming out in July, so of course not out yet, but has released four new singles in preparation for it, and I've really liked all of them. But my favorite of the bunch is Damn Near Normal by Co Wetzel. Co Wetzel is definitely one of my favorite new uh, artists for sure. Uh, outside of this new album coming out, he has five other albums out, all of which I think are pretty, pretty good albums. 
uh, you know, especially the last few, but damn near normal, really, really great song. Definitely my favorite out of the bunch of singles he's put out, and he's put out some really great ones. He's put out High Road and Sweet Dreams, Nine Lives. Definitely really looking forward to this new album, and this is definitely one of my favorite Coetzel songs without a doubt. Quickly became one of my favorites. Very catchy song, great lyrics, great vocals, everything you want, all in a good song. So Damn Near Normal by Co Wetzel, that is going to come in as my number two. Before I give y'all my number one favorite song of 2024 thus far, I'd like to let all of y'all know that down in the description below, I'll have a link to where you can go check out my Instagram. I'm pretty active over there. I respond to comments and DMs a lot more than I do on YouTube, and I post every time I upload a video. So if you don't want to miss a new video and you like what I do on this channel and want to support me elsewhere, I would highly appreciate it if y'all followed the link down below and gave me a follow over yonder on Instagram. So with that out of the way, let's get into my number one. My number one was a pretty easy choice. It came out very, very early this year since uh, the album came out in March, I believe. And the song is All The Way by Shane Smith and the Saints. I've always heard of their name whenever they started becoming more popular, but I never really listened to their music. This was the very first song I ever heard by them, and it came out in January or February, I believe, before their album Norbert came out, which is definitely one of my favorite albums of the year. And when I heard All The Way, I quickly fell in love with the song. It's a ballad type song, I guess you would say. Pretty much just piano and vocals, but you have great lyrics, great vocals, great messaging, and awesome piano. Really love this song, and uh, one of my favorite uh, songs with piano, without a doubt, for sure. I'll uh, definitely take hell of a song to top this one off for me, since I've grown to really, really love this song quite a bit. But I definitely have a strong feeling it will remain my number one of 2024 once we reach the end of the year. But anyhow, thus far, uh, for the first six months, it is definitely my number one. So this is going to be my top 10 favorite songs of the year 2024 thus far. Within these six months, there's been lots of great releases. So I'm sure we're all going to have very different opinions and different releases. But I would love to see all of y'all's different picks down in the comments below. Be sure to do that and be sure to check out the top 10 playlist and my Instagram down in the description below. Also down below, I'll be late to where you can go stream my original music. I have four songs out right now on all streaming platforms and I would highly appreciate it if y'all gave them a listen. So, hope y'all dug this video here up on the old YouTube channel. If you did, please consider subscribing and giving the video a like. I would highly appreciate it quite a bit. Once you're done watching, blast some of your favorite songs of 2024, and y'all have a wicked ass day.